So let's assume we have this circuit, everything in phaser. To make it a quick video. Three angle negative 41 in the milli. Milli amp. Three K. Negative negative three kilojoules. J I mean not joules. J capacitor, not joules. Think in physics here. J is for joules. Inductor eight K there's a J there. Capacitor negative five K J another inductor here two K J let's put a resistor here three K is this good enough? I have some space. Let's put another source here. Let's put five angle 13, some crazy numbers, milliamp. And let's say the question was, what is the voltage across the inductor here? Find V. That's a good size problem. Not too, too complicated and not too easy. Notice I can take these two, find the equivalent of them. I can take these two, find the equivalent. They're all impedance. And I can take these two and find the equivalent and without changing V, because they're in parallel, they have the same voltage. So if I find the equivalent, I have this one. I don't like the milli, I'm going to convert that to M, 0.003 angle negative 41 because it's milli divided by a thousand the product over the sum I just like boxes product over the sum so 3000 times 0 comma negative 3000 divided by the sum of them, 3,000 comma negative 3,000. K is 1,000. And it's 2121.3 angle negative 45. Another box here, another box here, and the other source. Point zero zero five angle thirteen. The millis are gone. Okay. Let's see what this value, the product over the sum. The product, 0 comma negative 5,000 times 0 comma 8,000 divided by the sum of them, which is what, 3,000? 0 comma 3,000. And that's 13333. Three, three, three. Point three, so thirteen thousand three hundred thirty-three point three angle negative ninety. This one, the product over the sum, three thousand times 
zero comma two thousand divided by three thousand comma two thousand one thousand six hundred and sixty four point one angle fifty six point three And this is V, right here. I can do a source transformation. This becomes a voltage source. On the top, you're going to have two of these. 2121.3 angle, negative 45. 13,333.3 angle, negative 90. One thousand six six four point one angle, 56.3. Point zero zero five angle, 13. And the question, what's the value of this source? Just like resistors, you have a current, you have a resistor. Where's the voltage? V equals I times Z, Ohm's law. This is I and that's Z. So multiply them. 0 0.003 angle, negative 41 times 2121.3 angle negative 45 and the value of this source is 6.36 .36 angle negative 85 degrees Can I take these two impedances and add them? Notice it's an impedance, I can just add them. If they were admittance, you're going to use the product over the sum for them, if they were the Y value. If they're the Z value, you treat them just like resistors, in series we add them. I'm going to add these two and see what that answer is. So here we go. 2121.3 angle, negative 45. Add to it 13,333.3 angle, negative 90. So hopefully I'm pushing all the right buttons hope somebody's doing them too. So if you push all the right buttons, you're getting 14,908.9 angle negative 84.2. Can I do source transformation again right here? I can do source transformation. This will be a current source pointing upward. And again, V equals I times Z, which means I equals V over Z. So take the voltage divided by the impedance. There we go, three point. 
Oh, I already made a mistake. 6.36 angle, negative 85, divided by 14,908.9 angle, negative 84.2. Yes. Um, are you sure that the uh, half right on the one of those? Bill's getting a different answer. I might have done it wrong, but I did it twice. I'm getting like 3205.8 angle negative 62. This one? one yeah. For that one? Yeah. Can't be. The reason I said can't be, if this is 13 and this is 2000, 2121.3. The longest you will have, if they were pointing the same direction. Oh, I'm missing a three, that's why. Yeah, the longest you have, if they're pointing in the same direction. So uh, 13 plus 2,000, that's 50 and some change. Yeah. No, I was just yeah. So if I divide this by that, oh God, I'm in a small number, point zero 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 four. Three angle negative point eight. If you did a source price for this really other one, we could boss voltage. Mm -hmm. Yes, it will happen. Yep. Two things I can do here. I can combine the two current sources together because we only have one node. I can combine these guys together and I can combine these two together. And my voltage does not change. My voltage is still here. When they're in parallel, they all have the same voltage. So I can combine the two of them together here, get one source. And I can take the, the two current sources and get one current source, but since this is bigger than this, notice this one is bigger than this, 0 0.005 is bigger than 0 0.0043, the net result is going to be a current pointing down. And the value of that current is 0 0.05 minus that number, 0 0.005 angle, no, Parentheses, I forgot that. Point zero zero five angle thirteen minus the other source, and I got point zero zero four six angle fourteen point three. And these two is going to be the product over the sum. So let's go through them. The product is 14,908.9 angle, negative 84.2 times um, 1664.9 Fifty-six point three divided by the sum of them, fourteen nine oh eight one six six four point one angle fifty six point three. If I push all the right buttons again. This answers 1815.5 angle 
But notice this current's coming down. So it's gonna mark it which way? The current is going upward. It's gonna mark it plus on the bottom, minus on the top. Opposite to V, V is labeled where? Plus on the top, minus on the bottom. So the voltage now, the voltage is going to be negative I times Z. Negative again because it's, it's coming down, it's marking it plus to minus, this is plus to minus backward. So it's going to be negative point zero zero four six angle fourteen point three. Z is 1815.5, angle 51.9. And I came up with an answer of 8.35, angle negative 113.8 degrees.